that's how far you wanted to play now. Sure. Here to maybe four. Okay. Good. Yeah. Very good. Do you have the piano part here also? Piano score. Uh, anybody has it here? No. I should. Ah, uh, that would have. Yeah. My piano is that. Because uh, because um, everything in this movement is about uh, about uh, light and shadow, about uh, tension, harmony, and the dissonance towards the harmony. So it would be helpful if we if we if I could show you uh, some some of the spots because you 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 played in a in a beautiful way, I, I think, and it's uh, but I can feel you're not completely convinced what you're doing. You're a little bit, oh, <laughs> what is it? Just be more, be, be more confident. Okay. And be more confident on, on your instrument. It's a modern flute. It's mm -hmm. not a Baroque flute. So if you want to play in a Baroque way, then take, uh, take the traverso okay. or some, some, uh, some historical instrument. But as far as we have the, the modern uh, boom, boom flute, it has some advantages and uh, some easiness the baroque flute can never has have baroque flute in this case is uh, should be our inspiration for the colors for the for the richness of the uh, the, uh, the variety of, of different uh, uh, shadows you can you can make on the instrument but uh, nevertheless it's a modern flute so the the mezzo forte the forte and the piano are definitely on a different place okay. than the baroque flute baroque flute is that says here uh, and goes until there, and the modern flute is starting here, going. It has it, it, uh, it's, a, it's a different different approach. It's like mm -hmm. a, a modern piano and a harpsichord almost. Huh? Mm -hmm. So when you play loud, really play loud, but tastefully, as uh, you know, with, with uh, getting the tone, getting uh, trying to match in the the tone of the Philipp Emanuel Bach of this of this baroque. Okay. But it's a forte. It's a different forte than a traverse flute. Is like uh, you know this. Uh, this is a baroque flute. <laughs> it's uh, also flat, huh? And it's different, huh? And so we. Um, But uh, try to, how to say, have a color in your in your in your face, not too pain. Huh? Okay. Let's try once more from the beginning with more healthy sound. Good, good, very good. Yeah, and all these taram, param, param. This is all appoggiatura mm -hmm. and uh, dissonance resolution. Dissonance resolution. So be more. <laughs> especially on the last one. Huh? Let's work on this first. That is the la. And then the fa yes, is uh, the F sharp is. Uh... Ah, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh no, that's not the that's a flute. That's a flute part. <laughs> Keep scrolling. Down, down, down. No, no, it's the, it's the it's the it's the the vari variation part. Okay, but I can get it. Also. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's the right, right, right. What he's playing and right, the, but yeah. I have it somewhere else. So ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yes, voila. And no accent on the on the when the trill is starting because the la is the actually the main note is the g and now you're doing then you 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 look but if you do it it it, it it's uh, like a contradiction. Thank you so much. 
Yes. Let's see together where this is. Uh, can you play from the beginning? Mm. You see that gi it gives a different, a, dif a different feeling because you hear that aha, this is consonant, this is dissonant, so it makes more sense mm. to to spend on this uh, okay. uh, with with the harmony and also for the for the for the pulsation. This always boom boom boom. The cello is always boom boom boom. It's always pushing you through. Yeah? Yeah. There is always like uh, we had in Prokofiev before. Before, yeah? even in the slowest tempo in music, we have uh, we have different aspects. We have the melody. But always the rhythm also, and not only rhythm, but rhythm plus or inside the rhythm is the pulsation. This is the the heartbeat, which uh, which has, which drives us into this mood or into a different one. Here it is very calm, but it's, it's still bom, 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 bom. it's like a, you know take it going for a walk on a, on a sunny sunny afternoon, and you you just without any object where to go, but you just go, and it's the, this uh, accompaniment is is guiding us somewhere, yeah? <laughs> and you you f you follow it, yeah. Okay. yeah? Uh, a little bit of uh, vo more of vocalise <coughs> at the beginning. This can be more vocal. La re fa sol. That is la ra di yam. Can you play this a little bit faster so that you feel? Ah, this is going up. And then going down. Sorry, Sorry for my voice, but then the cold. <laughs> yeah, voila, voila, very good. And going up, theta, and falling down. Mm, you can fall. You can let it fall more. more. Why? Make it one idea. Now why? And then again. Yeah. Keep the keep the tempo. Especially there, the octava, you jump to the octava and then you go. Go. Yeah, yeah, Charlie. No, from the beginning, more that you want to go here. Mm. Boom. Remember the Baroque flute was well known for its beautiful dark and full sound in the low register. Okay. So try to copy this. Da, 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 da. Yeah, good. And slur it, huh? the, the first three notes. Okay. And the, the, all the E is uh, appoggiature. Madam, and the red is this resolution. You know, 
If we put away all these uh, Rococo ornament, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, all the small notes, uh, let's see what, what, what is left over then. Can you play like this With, without, uh, without the ornaments, just the, the skeleton, the bones of the music? Now I can hear more healthiness in your and, uh, natural approach, which corresponds what you can do and what your instrument can do. But give it more direction and more sense that if you leave all these notes away, that still the bones are, you can recognize, ah, this is a, a mouse <laughs> or this has been a, a dinosaur or I don't know. But so you have, we have to recognize the shape of it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like this, huh? No, leave out the, the mi, okay. re. with everything. Mm. Ah, very good, continue. Kick away. Okay, when starting this uh, big uh, second uh, idea, let's start with the uh, mordent mm, okay. on the beat. Huh? Pa -da -da. Yeah, and and then once you once you catch it and then relieve the sound immediately. Pa -da -da. Pa -da -da. Yeah, not necessarily not necessarily with so much vibrato, but. I help you with the with the baseline. Mm -hmm. oh. Sorry, I, I, I took the wrong line. Yeah, you see, you have the tendency to ooh, slow movement and mm. slow. <laughs> no, no, it's the, it's the opposite. You know that to give us this impression that uh, the music line is flying, somewhere inside you have to keep, keep going. Huh? Let once more along. Huh? I don't understand what you want to what the, the It's a 
a pretty complicated formula for the, mm. for the cadenza. Perhaps you can try to play these ornaments mm. <coughs> once to fill in the gaps. Yeah, can you, can mm -hmm. you read it? <laughs> Then, yeah, okay. The other thing is always when you're doing this ta ta ha ta ha ta, it's always a portrait you don't have the tendency to play just 16 notes, okay. beautifully played, but not with uh, enough sense to. Yeah, and the last thing is this uh, vib vibrato idea. I don't mind the vibrato. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the sound uh, the sound needs some some vibration in order to be carried away from here to the audience uh, and to, to to reach them, but uh, not necessarily al necessarily always. <laughs> in this, uh, it's it's too much. So try to figure out something. In this, that the vibrato, your vibrato, your vibration stays more in the background, not too much on the immediately. We can hear it, but more in the background of the song. Yeah, and therefore, give start more loud. Bell sound. Good. Resolution, the E in calm, in peace with your vibrato. It's the radiasism. <laughs> yes. Vibrato off. <laughs> We are at, this, at the slowest side of the tempo, huh? mm -hmm. but it's it's difficult to to put everything together. This apportature, the color articulation, baroque flute, modern flute, everything is together. Many things will be resolved if you think about all these about all these ideas at home. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out. Perhaps make a recording mm -hmm. and and read read carefully what you are playing and. And, and reflect about it, and then when you when when you'll have your first rehearsal with the with the chamber or even with orchestra, uh, they will help you. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. But first of uh, first of all, these reflections about these intervals, about the dissonance, everything this has to be done. Yeah, and and read a bit in the uh, historical books, the Quants and Philipp Emanuel Bach book and Leopold Mozart. Not from not from the first to the last page, but for example, appoggiature, and then look, what does Quant say about appoggiatura or about ornament, about trill? Mm -hmm. Just uh, read uh, an article about it, and then think, well, what does it mean mm -hmm. for my for my uh, for my doing here? <laughs>